Okay, hey guys, how the hell goes it? I apologize, I'm kind of slack on videos. Uh, there was a wedding involved, this, that, and the other. I fell sick with strep throat, blah, blah, blah. But you don't want to hear about that. Anyways, so this just came in, and it's October. It's October 1st, to be exact. So you know damn well probably what came in if you follow my channel and, you know, see what I collect, obviously. Dinosaurs Jurassic Park. So uh, I came home from work, and this was on the front porch, and I'm like, you know what? Let's do an unboxing video. So, see? Lovely box. Let's open it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here's the outside of the case. Obviously, you can tell it's something Jurassic Park related. Um, obviously, we see the thumbnail, you know what the hell this is. It kind of reminds me of, like, Jurassic Park 3 with how, like, the case looked on the VHS and the cover, like the brushed metal. Oh, this is actually a... I forget what it's called, but like it's 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 sticking up. Like I forget what the heck that, that term is called. I was even name of a tell. All this warning stuff down here, nothing on the sides, the top, front, back, whatever, or oh, the bottom. It's a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, the, oh my god, this front, uh oh. Something's moving there, so I'm not sure what the heck this is. So let's see how this opens. Okay, okay, something's right here. Okay, okay, simple pull tab. Oh boy. Okay, okay, alright. I'm excited. So let's see. Oh. Ooh, God creates dinosaurs. Okay, well, okay, well, let me see what was making noise in here. Probably just. Okay, cool. So it was just, um, just some papers, you know, warnings and all that stuff, and products, you know, by Mattel and instructions and all that stuff so uh, I'm not gonna look at the instructions just yet I mean I know I should but uh, you know I'm looking at it off camera easy and it tells you what kind of batteries you need which I actually need to get batteries so <laughs> kind of perfect so heck yeah here's the outside now obviously you see God creates dinosaurs it's Ian Malcolm it's the book that you saw in um in uh, Jurassic World uh, but obviously this isn't the book this is a casing this is God creates dinosaurs. Malcolm on the back. Um, on the back had a different um, picture in the uh, movie, but this is the from the first film because this is actually a figure from the first movie, Jurassic Park 1993. And it says, uh, let's see, just go ahead and read that. If you would like, pause and read. I'm not going to read it out loud because I'm a terrible pronunciation person. Um, yes, there you go. Well, uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> um, there's like a spot here. I think that's where the batteries go. I think that pops off. But okay, so it looks like pages. Looks like a big ass book. But let's see what's in it. Oh boy. Okay, so there's some plastic that fell. Um, <laughs> hold on, let me adjust the camera. No, this is the best I can do. Let me mark, put the camera down and zoom in a little bit. Oh heck yeah, this is so sick. Okay, let me. Zoom out so I can show you. So here's, I don't know how well you can see it. There's, oh, oh, don't, don't fall over Malcolm. Oh, actually, Malcolm comes out. Super easy. So we'll look, we'll look at Malcolm first. Okay, so come here. Look at Malcolm first. Then we'll look at the uh, pricing. Oh, that was super easy to come out. Heck yeah, that is sick. I don't know what the heck this was covering up. Maybe the door back there or something? It was covering something. I don't know what it was covering. Hopefully nothing that we need. So, heck yeah, here's Malcolm himself, sexy Ian Malcolm. Add to my Ian Malcolm collection. Uh, his head feels like it's kind of stuck in that position. I hope it's not. I mean, that's going to stay the way anyways. But, heck yeah, here's the battle. He's like, I guess, battle damage. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on his tiny face. Come on, focus on him. He's really trying. He's really trying. The heck, I had it a second ago. Okay, okay, that, that, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry, folks. He's got a little chest hair. His shirt's open. His glasses are missing. He's got the, you know, damaged leg. His leg is broken by the T-Rex. I kind of wish he was a little more, like, open wound. Or not open wound, but, like, the pant leg torn and whatnot. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't, wasn't focused. Got some watch right there, which is cool. Heck, yeah, the necklace disappeared. You know, I've always wondered what his necklace was. I always try to find pictures. Not really good photos online of what his necklace looks like. So if anybody can point me in the right direction, I would greatly appreciate it. So I think he's supposed to have his leg up like this, I believe, as he's sitting down, you know, like right here. But he okay, before, so that's that's Ian Malcolm. Oh, this is butt. Yeah, that's Ian Malcolm, like I said, he's, he's like the battle damage version of what we got. And the articulation kind of feels, hold on, I'm going to take a look at it closer. 
Um, I know his, 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 you know, he's got some articulation in his ankle. They go back and forth. I don't know if they, oh, no, they pivot. They pivot. That's not bad. They 360, which is cool. Heck yeah. Um, I like how this part of the boot is, like, this is painted, but this part's not. Which doesn't bother me. Like, that's pain and that's not. But again, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, he's just, it's going to sit on a shelf. I'm not too picky on it. Um, like I said, he, he articulates, I, you know, he you can stand him up and all that fun stuff. But I think he was stuck so much in that position. His head just permanently wants to stay that way. But I'm trying to... It's a bit rubbery, so it's a little bounce back and forth. It's not bad. Like I said, the shirt's all rubber. You can open the shirt up a little more. Okay, it's, uh, you know, not too bad back there. Um, arm swivel... Yeah, uh, you got wrist. Oh, you got wrist articulation. Like, yeah, I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was on the other figures. I don't think it was. So this might be more line the, along the lines of like the Hammond Collection style um, Malcolm figure. But I mean, obviously, regardless, it's still the same. You know, they're all the same height, same size. So you can use the original Legacy one if you have that out of the box or anything, or the new Hammond Collection one, and then boom, this is your battle damage one if you ever want to recreate that scene with photos. Or little fan films or whatever the heck you want. A little diorama. Because speaking of dioramas, i got to figure out what to do with this thing. So there's going to be some organization coming in the future. But yeah, there's um, there's Malcolm. I kind of like it. Not bad. He can, you know, obviously bend over and all this fun stuff. His head does swivel all the way around. Like I said, it's a bit rubbery. It's a little bit bouncier. Um, his hair looks more... His hair honestly looks more accurate in this figure than the other ones do. Uh, but regardless, I like to see a Malcolm figure. I'm going to have to figure out how to pose him properly on this but speaking of the diorama okay let's check out the back um you got the door back there you got like the fossils on the wall i think the door opens doesn't it it looks like it should oh cool okay there's some lights up there and everything i don't want to bend this too far because like i know it's just cardboard i be really careful but it looks like something was right there can you open the door it's like oh sorry folks let me uh let me uh open it off off camera so I don't break anything um, okay so oh the door okay so the door does open but here's the funny part <laughs> so it opens and it's just more of the background which is fine I got like that skull hopefully you can see the skull there's a spot right here that keeps the door like this which actually doesn't look that bad at all and then of course you have the base right here there's the stairs going up got like this they have like claw marks here which is interesting I'm um, not sure why there's claw marks there. I don't think dinosaurs got in there in there yet and then he's got the the medical bed or blanket towel whatever the heck it is laying down you got some brushing right here you got some pegs to put on the characters which is nice so you got you can put hammond ellie um arnold um or muldoon whoever and then obviously malcolm or if you want to put everybody else in there you can but let's see i know he presses down Life will not oh be that was loud <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't start to think they should. Okay. Okay. okay, the battery sounds a little bit like the speaker sounds a little bit more muffled compared to the right on the one. Let's try it again. I think they'll have that on the tour. <laughs> All right. I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Okay, I'm now by myself. Uh, uh, talking to myself. That's that's chaos. Yeah. That, that's me every day at work. I talk to my damn self. No one listens to me. Oh, I didn't realize there's more claw marks right here. All right, one more. Wait a minute. When you worked, everything's still off. Okay, so that was you know that was good for this scene. So when he sits down, he I'm says that. Simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Okay, so I think it recycles back through everything. But this is not bad material. Like, like I said, it's got some nice texture to it. It freaked me out because I didn't realize how sensitive it was when I touched it. Um, I wasn't ready for that, so I was like, I jumped a little bit off camera. <laughs> but heck yeah, one, one more time, one more time. I think they'll have that on the tour. Okay, there's that. Wait a minute, when you worked, everything's still off. Okay, so that's, I don't know if it's like any kind of order, but yeah, so like, so you lay Malcolm down there in the position you need it to be and, you know, set up the diorama. So let me set something up and I'll give you my final thoughts on this. I think I have a really fun idea, so give me a few moments, folks. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the camera by hand so I can show you what I did. So yeah, I just put him in there looking at Malcolm. He's discussing about how much pain he's in and Ellie's talking about how, well, again, more shadow morphine. So heck yeah, I, I kind of like this little diorama. There's actually potential, like I said, there's some, you know, there's pegs here and there for people to put their foot in there. Um, figures, uh, I couldn't fight, get Hammond to fit in there. I didn't want to fight with it or break him or anything, so I just kind of sent him to the side like this. But he stands just fine, but Ellie had an issue standing, so I uh, pegged her foot. Um, other than that, heck yeah, this is really cool. I like how Malcolm looks, like, sitting there. Let's see if I can do, like, a line. Yeah, but 
and your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. No, I was hoping for the one from from this exact scene. Let's try it again. Life will not be uh, contained. Close. One more. Wait, 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 everything's still off. Okay, there we go. Okay, that worked. Okay. And then you obviously you can have like Ray Arnold here or something like that. Have Ray Arnold or have like some kind of setup. I'm sure there's going to be more sets later on. Um, okay, this is really cool. I'm so happy I was able to pre-order this. I was unable to get the... Um, Donald uh, Gennaro won the lawyer one that came with the big uh, like the big old T-Rex in the bathroom set. I was unable to pre-order that sadly, but it was I think it was like eighty-eight dollars or eighty bucks something like that. I didn't have that, but this wasn't too bad. I believe this was like in the twenty-five dollar price range. Uh, same with the right Arnold one before. Okay, the box itself is pretty sweet. Um, I like this and how this displays up as like his book is really cool. So I got to find a way to display this properly in this room somewhere. So. Overall, I really like this heck of a lot. There's potential for diorama displays. Um, maybe you can hook it up with the lava set. I'm not sure how you can figure that out, but I'm sure there's a way to figure that out with the lava set. And obviously the Ray Arnold set. And who knows what other sets we're going to get. Um, I'm really hoping a bathroom one with Gennaro comes separately. You don't have to buy the T-Rex, just Gennaro, Gennaro in the bathroom. Or maybe just the bathroom set itself. I don't know how that's going to how that work, but I don't know. But overall... Um, Again, this is more like an impromptu kind of review. Like I said, I just came home and this was on my door. And heck, yeah, this is sweet. But I'm really happy as hell I had this. This is so cool. Um, it's another Ian Malcolm to my collection. So <laughs> that's real fun. I mean, he's my, he is my favorite character. I grew up, it was Alan Grant. But it's still like moved to Malcolm. But I still love Grant and everybody else. But um, yeah, overall, this is nice. Mattel, this is really good. Please do more sets like this. Please make them more available if you can. Uh, like I said, I would love to have the Gennaro one. But I did not. I was unable to have like two or four at the time so but overall this is really sweet i like this you have like the legacy kitchen set as well you can yeah, honestly set up a shelf scene for scene of the movie and it'd just be fantastic i think that's what i would do in the future if i ever get another shelf in here i might do a movie scene shelf but that's future mike's problem so overall hope you guys enjoy this review and uh this overall you know shot of malcolm and everything here i'll just do like an epic shot for you guys there you go enjoy that to the aerial shot perfect yeah all right i'm not a professional director that was just for fun so <laughs> enjoy that uh, you guys take care and be excellent to each other